All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR once again, and uh, coming at you with a quick video, hopefully quick. I say that, and it almost never happens. Um, but PlayStation has acquired another studio. This is their third uh, studio acquisition announcement of this year. Uh, first, it was Housemark, and then it was Nix's. I don't know if it happened in that order. I think it did. Um, but both of those happened this year. And now they have announced Fire Sprite Studios acquisition. So Fire Sprite is obviously not a household name, but I'm going to give you some details about them if you don't know about them. And of course, there's still the rumor that PlayStation will acquire uh, Bluepoint um, Studios as well. It seems like they want to stagger these announcements for for studio acquisitions. They don't want to like, hey, we bought them, we bought them, we bought them like all at one time. Um, I think that's like a PR move to like, you know, have things to announce at different times. Uh, so yeah, now it's Fire Sprite Studios. So Fire Sprite Studios has over 200 developers, 200 uh, developers in their studio. I think it's around 250. Uh, many of them come from uh, former uh, SIE studios, specifically Liverpool. Uh, this studio is still based in the in Liverpool in the UK. It's one is is one of the uh, UK's biggest game develop development studios. Um, the stu so. The I believe the people who founded this studio, I think it was founded in 2012. These were the people that uh, that were pretty much let go because Sony Sony closed uh, their Liverpool studios, and then people from that studio founded Fire Sprite. So now Sony is acquiring them. So literally, they're acquiring the studio that was made by the people. Uh, that 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 were made from the people that from the studio that they closed. Yes, that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, interesting turn of events, right? Um, so they've developed the Playroom, um, the Playroom VR, uh, and their persistence, uh, mainly VR games, right? And I assumed that you know this is a studio that PlayStation is acquiring just to make more VR games. They're trying to, you know, uh, fill fill uh, roles for their needs and, um, you know, and, and their requirements, right? Um, they're not necessarily, I would say, just acquiring studios just to pad a list. They're actually filling needs, which I think is a smart thing, right? The whole organic growth that Jim Ryan talks about, because in organic, once again, um, that means they actually have some type of close relationship with the studios uh, that they acquire. They're not just acquiring studios that um, they don't have, you know, that that doesn't just naturally doesn't naturally fit. Right. So this once again makes sense, um, along with uh, house with house mark and Nix's was, was a little bit less organic. You can argue that. But, uh, yeah, they they're still going for that organic growth. Um so what they're actually developing is, according to this report, is two games. They're creating a triple-A uh, branching narrative adventure game and a triple-A quality action shooter. Brand new IPs. And this is good news, right? This is this is definitely good news. Um because I just assumed, you know, they they worked on VR games. They were just going to continue working on VR games, which I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with. Because even though I wasn't into the first model of PlayStation VR, because I felt like, you know, the technology really wasn't there to make VR an enjoyable experience, at least not with PlayStation VR, which was an entry level uh, design and, and an entry level item. Some of the other VR headsets that cost a lot more, the premium ones that were out at the time, I never had any problem with those. But with but with PlayStation VR, I was like, yeah, this is this is still making me seasick. It doesn't look great. So PlayStation VR two, that I'm looking forward to because I feel like the technology um, is will be there and the power and everything they they need to make VR games more than experiences or tech demos uh, is is finally here. So that's why I look forward to it. Um, so yeah, Fire Sprite Studios, as I mentioned, was founded by the old Liverpool studio that developed Wipeout and F1, um, about 250 employees. It's actually bigger than Rocksteady and Rare and bigger than Sony's two UK studios combined. And I believe they're referring to 
Uh, there are two, Sony's two other UK studios. I believe that's Media Molecule. And uh, what is the studio that made Concrete Genie? Yeah, that studio that made Con Concrete Genie. I think Media Molecule might have less than 100 employees. And I'm not sure who the studio who uh, made uh, Concrete Genie, how many they have. But um, listen, yeah, side note, y'all might want to throw some more employees at at Media Molecule, because y'all know I have a lot of disdain. I don't, I don't have anything positive to say about Media Molecule. I just feel like their projects aren't up to par with what the rest of the PlayStation Studios are making. And I'm not even talking about AAA, AA. If they made like an ama even an amazing, um, you know, indie style game or a double A game, then I would be fine with it. But I just don't feel like Media Molecule is living up to. Uh, you know, the quality and the excellence that PlayStation Studios, uh, a lot of the other top studios have. And uh, yeah, we we need that. We need that excellence. We need that seal of quality. I j I'm just putting that out there. Um, and, I, you know, this is why I will say sales matter. A lot of people like to have that argument. Oh, you know, why are you talking about, you know, why do people talk about sales? Uh, sales don't matter. How does sales help you as a gamer? But no, it does. Because if you have a publisher like Sony, it's clear that they take all the money and they invest it back into games. That's why, you know, once it, that's another reason that honestly, people like, oh man, $70 games. I'm mean, like, listen, man, if, if I see that it's being invested in the right place and I'm getting it back as the gamer, as, as somebody who's consuming it, I don't really got no complaints. And I, I see Sony investing in all the things that I that I want more games, more AAA games, more uh, finally, more finally, more multiplayer games with uh, those two other studios that that they're that they that they announced. Though they're working on multiplayer games, um, maybe at this show tomorrow, uh, we might get announcement of some multiplayer games coming back. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. And um, yeah. This if if this studio was working on a triple A quality new action shooter IP, according to this report, that might be multiplayer also. And I'm glad this is a big studio because that means they can make they can work on multiple projects and not just one. So, yeah, this is great. More, you know, PlayStation exclusives, more first party exclusives. They're investing in there and, uh, you know, they're doing it right. So um, I'm I'm happy to hear about this, man. It's definitely it's definitely good news, especially on the multi multiplayer side of it. So, uh, yeah, no no complaints here. Um, all of their acquisitions so far, and I, what and uh, yeah, all of their acquisitions so far make sense. They they definitely make sense to me. I feel like I'm missing something. Wasn't there like a smaller studio that they acquired this year aside from Nick Nix's and Housemark? I feel like there was something else small. I can't remember. Might have been like a fourth one. That wasn't like, I can't remember, but um, yeah, I'm. I think this is. I think this is good. This is definitely good. So let me know what y'all think about this. Um, and uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. PlayStation showcase tomorrow. Hopefully, we're not disappointed. Hopefully, they you know they deliver. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter if you're not. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.